Hey everybody, 300 Evil here with a test of the new Laser Wave Dechloric filters. Uh, the first one we're going to be testing uh, right now is a blue, and the only thing I'm going to be testing right now is the uh, transmittance and, uh, and uh, uh, loss of green. And basically what I have here is a test rig. I have a uh, coherent compass laser right here making uh, pretty close to uh, a stable uh, 10 milliwatts of laser power which is going straight through to this power meter over here. Uh, from here I have another power meter here and that's going to be reading uh, whatever waste beam is coming off of the dichro. So uh, the first one we're going to test is the old laser wave dichro. So give me a minute, uh, I'm going to line this and we'll check and see what the results are. Um, by the way, the uh, waste beam will be read on this uh, digital multimeter right here. Uh, 0.2 right here, it's showing, it's kind of hovering around. Uh, but that would be uh, 0.2 milliwatts, and this would be 9.6 uh, milliwatts. So let's go ahead with the test. That's about 45 degrees. And as you can see here, uh, we're reading uh, 600, uh, 6 milliwatts uh, going through the optic, and we're reading a waste beam of around uh, 3 milliwatts. So that's uh, quite significant when you're dealing with higher power levels. Again, this is only 10 milliwatts, but I wanted to pick a laser that had good stability. All right, so now we'll go ahead and test the new blue dichro which I already have an amount right over here and the, this is the new laser wave blue dichro look at that not even a milliwatt As you can see, these new dichros are very, very, very good. And the beam is definitely on the detector head. And let's go back to the other one real quick so you can see the difference again. And there's the other one. 3 milliwatts again and we'll switch back again this is the new laser wave blue dichro it's hard to find the dump beam because it's so faint there it is again so low that it really doesn't even register so that concludes the test of the greens next uh, we'll go ahead and see what the red dichros do okay we're back now and now we're going to try the red dichros uh, first off I have some off-brand uh, red dichro that I bought on eBay that uh, actually seemed to be uh, work better than my Edmunds uh, red reflect dichro. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, my guess is that the uh, Edmonds one was a bad batch or something, but uh, anyway, uh, here's a red dichro. And as you can see, we're running, running around uh, almost two milliwatts of loss off of that dichro right there. And we'll go ahead and pop this one off. And then this is the new Laser Wave Red Dichro. All right. 
and as you can see that one doesn't even register either obviously I need a more sensitive meter for this application but uh, basically uh, basically it's no loss compared to the old dichros and if there is any loss it's you know in the upper 90s I'd say you know anywhere between 95 and 98 uh, percent pass through and one to two percent loss at least that's what I'm seeing here on my on my side so um, basically that concludes my test uh, for now I plan on doing a little bit more testing and uh, hopefully I'll have some video on, on that too well thanks for watching and have a good one